The International Space Station has served as a research facility in space for years now. It is perhaps one of the most effective inventions in recent decades and has been instrumental for the world in recent years. However, it seems like things are changing very fast recently. Today, we will be discussing the impending disaster due to which the International Space Station might be negatively affected. A hint for you? Russia has a lot to do with this disaster. You must be wondering, what is this big disaster and how will it affect the ISS? And most importantly, what does Russia have to do with it? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more, as we delve into the details behind this possible catastrophe. Without further ado, let us begin. To understand the topic at hand first, we need to learn about how the International Space Station first came into being. Flashback to the 80s and 90s, we all know how the world was still recovering from the effects of the Cold War that had been going on between the United States and Russia. But like all things, this had to end. And many experts think the formulation of the International Space Station played a huge part in unifying these two superpowers and putting an end to the Cold War. The $100 billion complex, roughly the length of a football field, was built together by the Americans and the Russians. It is divided into two main components, one of which is managed by Russia and the other by the US and other nations. As you can see, the two nations played a huge part in how the International Space Station came into being. Well, around 25 years later, after years of constant research that not only studied various phenomena in space, but on other planets too, most prominently Mars. Speaking in 2001, alongside George W. Bush, who was the president of the US at the time, Putin raised the ISS as an illustration of the extremely successful bilateral relations between the two nations. However, it appears that this significant partnership may be coming to an end. Russia has stated its intention to exit the ISS after 2024. You must be wondering, how did that happen? Well, let me explain. First of all, I don't think I need to explain how proud Russians are when it comes to their country. They firmly think that they are the best country in the world, and no one is better. There's nothing wrong with that. However, sometimes this might lead to decisions that might affect the world badly. The recent Ukraine war is living proof of that. Any other country would have wanted to solve it by agreeing to some agreement, but not Russia. They chose the violent path and stamped its authority forcefully. So why am I telling you this? Well, it's not surprising that talk of Russia having its own space station was becoming frequent. I'm not just talking about the general public, but the figureheads in Russia and advisors to Putin have been wanting to pursue this for quite a while now. If we look at the scenario from the Russian point of view, I mean, why wouldn't they? It would mean detaching itself from the usual rules and regulations it needs to adhere to due to the International Space Station being co-owned. If they had one for themselves, they would be free to do whatever they want and free to pursue whatever research they want to take. This thinking was further strengthened when things got strained between the United States and Russia during the Ukraine war. Even though the US didn't directly take part in the war, they supplied Ukraine with the goods to resist Russian entry, which not only prolonged the war, it also exhausted Russia's resources and led to frustration. No wonder they wanted to cut ties with the US in any way possible, and this included the ISS. Now let us discuss why this cutting of ties could mean a disaster to the station. Let us go back to the year 2014 when Dmitry Rogozin led the Russian space program at the time. After Russia invaded and annexed Crimea, it was under a lot of pressure from the United States, which inflicted a lot of sanctions on Russia. In response, Rogozin famously said that Russia will hold the International Space Station hostage and Americans can come to the space station using a trampoline, as Russia will not allow its ships to attach to the station. He issued the same threat later on. He also further said that the International Space Station normally takes a trajectory over most of the United States and other European countries, but a small part of Russia. So, if the space station were to stop working, 
it would most likely crash on the United States. This was a clear warning to the US, and Russia was basically portraying the power it had over the ISS and showcasing how things could go from bad to worse if the United States continues to oppose Russia. Realistically, this is quite unlikely to happen, but theoretically, it could happen. As Russia is known to make its own decisions and does not care about pressure from other countries. The recent Ukraine war is a clear example of that. It could, if it wanted to, seize control over the ISS and cause it to crash into the US, which could result in a major disaster if the United States continues to challenge Russia in the Ukraine war. But now, it seems that Russia is planning to build another space station which would be controlled exclusively by Russia and will not have any influence by the United States. Let's see what the future holds for Russia in the matter. Who knows, their space program might skyrocket as a result of this new space station. We can only wait and watch. In the end, I would just like to say that we humans should try to live in harmony. At the rate at which the world is degrading, who knows when we won't be able to live on Earth anymore at all. We should stop these wars and opposing each other. Instead, we should push our egos aside and work together to find an answer to this emerging problem before it becomes an emergency. Either we can solve the issue at Earth and find a way to make it sustainable forever, or explore the space around to find a new planet in which humans can survive. Both things will take a lot of time and resources, so uniting and working together will serve us best to tackle the problem. I hope this Ukraine war is the last major conflict we see because it does nothing but limit peace and harmony in a world. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Please let me know by pressing the like button and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Until then, take care of yourself and we'll see you guys in the next one.